What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Gear Bears Creations channel. I'm Gear Bear, and I want to bring you guys a short review of the Magic Fly epoxy resin that I found on Amazon, primarily due to the fact that I couldn't find out a review for myself um, before buying it, not on Google, YouTube, or even Amazon where I bought it from. So, decided to create my first video and really bring you guys a short review of and. So far, I can say I have absolutely no complaints. I've pretty much used um, almost the whole bottle. Um, these, this um, resin here in my brass knuckle molds is Magic Fly. I can say that it's a, it's a slow curing um, epoxy. Very slow curing. This has already been about a little over 24 hours, but um, when you first mix and pour it, you that that working time that they give you is pretty accurate because as soon as that time is up it becomes very very tacky very tacky like um if you're used to um amazing clear cast as i am you're used to you know being able to work with it a little bit if you maybe make a mistake or something you put some heat to it loosen it up a bit move stuff around if you really need to not with the magic fly it gets it gets so tacky that um you really don't want to mess with it after that working time is up you want to make sure you wear gloves because um now again if you're used to amazing clear cast as i am you can sometimes you can just use your fingers to move things around or place things or whatever and just wash it off and not that magic fly. That um that stuff gets really, 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 really tacky. I mean it will you're gonna be scrubbing for a few minutes to get it off of your hands if you don't wear gloves. So I highly recommend you wear gloves um if you're gonna get some magic fly. Um the odor is I can it's no a very, very low odor. I can very definitely attest to their labeling there. It um doesn't have a bothersome odor at all especially compared to Amazing Clearcast. And Amazing Clearcast is really the only other resin I've really used. That's why I'm comparing to it a lot, but you know, it's a good resin to compare to. It's just a nice, a nice basis. You find it at Michael's, you know, it's a good resin. But overall, it's also really good with micro bubbles. This here, um, I maybe took a piece of copper wire and dug out two or three bubbles and torched them at the top. Other than that, I didn't mess with it too much. I don't know, I know my lighting isn't the best, but let's see if I can get it up. But there's hardly any bubbles in there. Like there's like none. Some in like the corners and things like that. But overall, it's very, very clear. I can tell already. And this, as a pair, as compared to the, um, my amazing clear cast mold, which I mean, it bubbled a bit. I didn't take the time to dig out some bubbles like I did with this one, but it still, it wasn't too bad. But more natural bubbles formed with the amazing clear cast than it did with the magic fly for sure. And um, just to give some examples of some other things that I've made with magic fly so far since so I've had it. I've made these um, fridge magnets. These are just little figures that I ship with all of my necklaces that I um, that I sell. I make like amethyst um, epoxy necklaces, glow in the dark and things like that. And I've also made these dominoes here, which actually came out really nice. I love them so much. I really don't wanna, um, I've been debating on whether I should post them to Etsy or just keep them because they came out much better than I expected. I know the clear kind of makes it um maybe a little unfair for playing with some unhonest people, but they look nice. <laughs> Definitely happy with the way these came out. The top layer of the dominoes here, if you can see, it has that bluish tint. It was actually the same batch of epoxy that I made these um fridge magnets out of and then after that cured I let it cure for about a day or so and then I put a layer of um, 
another layer of magic fly epoxy, but I mixed it with some folk art 14 karat gold acrylic paint. And then, oh, the blue part was made with um, just a couple of drops of some uh, um, fountain pen ink that I have. And that's what I used to color those, just to see how much I can really add to it before I compromise the curing process. And if you frequent epoxy, mm -hmm. you already know, but just to give you guys an example, I made these here with the amazing clear cast, but I colored them obviously. Just a little bit of um, metallic red, deco art paint, and some of the same folk art, um, 14 karat gold paint. But as you can see, after about three, four days, I can still kind of take this and give a little bend to it. And that's all that adding any kind of substance that alters the chemical process of the epoxy. It'll keep it from getting as hard as it possibly can. It's still re really hard, don't get me wrong. And I'm considerably strong, but that still, it bends a little more than I would like it to as opposed to my completely clear ones, which these are just approaching 24 hours and uh, that has hardly any been to it at all. Like, at all. But that's, you know, that's basic epoxy. In the box, you also get quite a few things. You get a baggie with a lot of syringes and a couple of pairs of gloves. If you don't have some already, you get quite a few of these um, 100 milliliter beakers. Two or three of them, I believe. I think I have another one that's over there used. You get a 250 milliliter beaker. You get this silicone mat here. They include these, um, these squeeze tips in the box as well. You get these spreaders, which um, I don't know exactly what kind of epoxy project you would use these for, but they come in there. <laughs> you get a silicone brush, about four of these spatula things. You actually get some sandpaper, I believe it's 320 grit, waterproof, so I think you can actually do some, um, so wet sanding with this paper here that they include. And um, I think that's about it. That comes in the box, yeah. So all in all, um, I do, I would recommend that you buy this epoxy. Just, um, if you're coming from an amazing clear cast like I do, just, just wear gloves and make sure you're extra careful that you don't get it anywhere that you don't want it to be. <laughs> because you will, um, you will be pretty upset with yourself. But um, yeah, all in all, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to shoot me some comments. Tell me where I can improve. This is my first video I've ever really done. And I um, do plan to make more because um, people have told me that I should probably get into you know, broadcasting my crafts and stuff more. I'll just kind of do random things that come to my mind. Utilizing epoxy resin and other things. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.